Hi. So. The new Mavic 3 has come out. The Mavic 3 Classic. It's everything that the Mavic 3, Cine, and Prior had. But there's one vital issue. It's now missing the zoom function of the Mavic 3. Is this a big deal? According, According to, to DJI, DJI, DJI. believe it. However, I'm not sure that not having the zoom function is something I can now fly my drone without using. Coming up in the video, what we have got is a little look into whether or not the Mavic 3 zoom function has an applicable use when you're flying your drone. When I first bought my Mavic 3, I was very kind of uh, upset about having to spend all this money for a zoom function that I might not want, and I didn't even get the RC Pro controller because it suddenly became $1899, $2000. This is all in US dollars, and the expense grew from there. So when DJI launched their Mavic 3 Classic, for cheaper, with the controller, I was pretty annoyed. But only for a minute, and then I realized we still have the zoom function, and I can always buy another controller if and when the need arises. So what have we got inside the Mavic 3? So we've got our Hasselblad LD220C camera. Now, what that means is we have our main camera function, which is the 4 thirds CMOS Hasselblad camera. That is the one that does the 5.1K. It is incredible. As far as a 4 thirds camera goes, that's what I'm shooting on right now. Uh, it's nice to have that same image perception throughout each lens that I put on the cameras. The overall aperture, which is why we got the Mavic 3, ranges from 2.8 to f11. So with the Mavic 3, you have both digital and optical zoom. With the optical zoom, we have the normal view, then we have double the view, and we also get into four times. That's when the cameras then switch into the half inch sensor, and you end up with times seven, times 14, and then times 28. Does it work? We plan on finding out. We took the drone on a hike, went to the Campbell River Lookout Trail, we went up to the top of the mountain, and then we did a range test on how good the zoom performs over vast distance and it turns out that when you have that great distance having 28 times optical zoom it's actually quite helpful but it's only helpful in scouting it's not really helpful to film with it's everything's very grainy when you're flying your drone and it's not a one-to-one -one aspect ratio and you're flying with the zoom engaged or whatever magnification you want you have to be very cognizant of where your drone is in relation to the obstacles. Now, I know that we have obstacle avoidance on the Mavic 3, and that's fantastic. Omnidirectional, mm, what a wonderful thing that is. However, at 28 times optical zoom, when I'm flying, I have no idea where the drone is. I have no idea what I'm really looking at, and if there's any surrounding trees right now, we're in fall, so... there's no leaves on any of these branches. There's a stronger chance that perhaps the omnidirectional sensing might in fact make a boo-boo and let me down. I need to know everything, who in the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, there's five and a horse, I'm ready for war, I'm coming for ghosts, to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything. Now you be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in signs to let them in talk up their body, another one body, that's just how it go. I got some secrets, I'm shaking the game so they stay on their toes. Stay in your lane, I'll stay on the go. I can to play with the pros and act like a rookie, so they overlook me. They're not double up again, none of their nose, none of them cold. They just got lucky but never adapted, so I'm to the one if it's coming to blows. My enemies cutting it close, I let them think that they got me, but what do you know? I had them beat before we ever spoke, I'm ready for smoke. I need to know everything, who in the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, there's five and a horse I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything 
Now they ain't go harder than me They need a blade and a sheath A shank and a piece A crate full of heat An army of fleet A tank and a jeep A navy at sea With ace a marine An ace up they sleeve A team of marines A freak on a leash A beast with an appetite Razor for teeth And still they will lay at my feet Boy you got the wrong one I gotta look over all of my publishing statements For Q1 as soon as the song's done I gotta call up my mama And tell her I made it as soon as my log's done I gotta read all my trade publications And sit my teeth till it is all done I think it's all fun I need to know everything, who and the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but act like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, there's five and a horse I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throats to turn to a ghost I need to know everything I need to know everything, who and the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but act like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, there's five and a horse I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throats to turn to a ghost I need to know everything And as we see here in Discovery Passage, we are going to twist and turn until we get to Menzies Bay. And there it is right there. Now, this is the normal view. Optical zoom times two times four. And then we switch into the digital zoom times 14 and now times 28. Now it is grainy, but that is a distance. So now we're going to try the mountains to your right hand side. There's our normal view. This now is double. Optical zoom. There's our times four. Then switch into digital. There's the times seven. You can see it. Now there's our 14. Now these mountains are miles and miles away. There's our times 28. Now it is grainy. You can see some of the heat here, but that is a pretty spectacular option to have on a Mavic 3. Now, the Mavic 3, we have the zoom function, it is the business. Okay, so the Mavic 3, turns out you really do want to have the zoom function. I know it's the extra 300 bucks, I know it doesn't come with the extra controller that has the big screen on it, but you can buy that later, and trust me, it's worth having. There's so many applicable uses for this thing. So when you do pictures of houses, pictures of landscape photography, you want to isolate your subject from whatever they're doing, I can see some real practical uses for this, and as such, I think maybe DJI are just trying to please the masses with a cheaper version of the Mavic 3. I don't know that it's worth the buy, because you're giving up something that once you've used it, you'll never go back. And on that note, doodles! <laughs>